everybody. And to expand your understanding, this is a global issue to which we must respond and respond with welcome. This program is organized by the Network for Peace Through Dialogue. Um, a small nonprofit organization, and I am Sister Virginia Dorgan, the executive director of the Network for Peace. We are very grateful to Father Julian, who heads the Migrant Migrant Center here at the Church of Saint Grace of Assisi. He recognized when we talked to him about our German visitors who were going to be in town. He recognized immediately that talking about the current influx of so many migrants, refugees, into Germany and Germany's response and welcome to them is something that is important for us to, to look at. And it's the kind of issue that he is dealing with in his migrate, migrant center all the time. We have a special opportunity tonight because we have Ute Lanek and Monica Trevor, who are from Germany, um, and they can give us first-hand reports. They're both sociologists, so they've both been dealing with the communities um, and the mixing of communities in their whole lives. So, first of all tonight, we're gonna hear from Monica Trevor. Monica holds a PhD in sociology, from 1999 to 2013, she had, was a professor and then the rector at the Catholic University of Applied Sciences in Berlin. She's a member of the Commission on Refugees and Migrants in the Archdiocese of Berlin. So I'm going to let you please enjoy hearing Martha's analysis. Good evening, social crisis in Europe. Well, um, I will purposely start with this map of Europe. You see the European Union um, as a union of nowadays 28 states, member states, and you can see from this map uh, there are the ones that are, were members already in 1993, and then the newer ones they're all in the east, so we can, in a way, discover uh, what was the, where the former Iron Curtain has been. And that's important to know, because there are different concepts and understandings of what the European um, values are and the motivations uh, for joining this European Union. When we speak of a refugee crisis in Europe, what we know is that about 60 million, oh, uh, worldwide we have about 60 million refugees. And in Europe last year we received 1.2 million. In Germany, around 1 million. Um, that year, projected in your newspapers or the United States, I think is that the most of them are Syrians, which is not true, as you can see from this uh, picture. Um, the most, till the midst of last year, were people from, Al from Albania or more precise, from Kosovo. And uh, only after we, the, our government made some restrictions, um, these uh, numbers dropped down. But it's true, uh, we have people coming to Germany um, to about 24% uh, are Syrians, and then we have people from Afghanistan, from Iraq, northern Iraq, from Eritrea, um, from Somalia. These are the countries where the most come from. Most of a lack of aid given from the UN High Commissioner of Refugees. Uh, uh, and a lack of working opportunities, many people decided to proceed and to try to get to Europe. We had an emergency situation uh, happening in Hungary 
which finally came, uh, our camp chancellor, Angela Merkel, um, brought to the decision let the people go for humanitarian reasons. People that once entered a border to these states could move freely in Europe. So it's a visa free. Those who are a member of this convention, um, they will not have special visa regulations, um, and, um, but under the condition that we have strong border controls at the, at the outside borders, like all around here. We also we have the border control given to Italy and to Greece and to Spain, those states around the medieval sea. People could freely move to Germany, with, first without registration, and uh, not being sent back to those states where they first entered European soil, or this, the Schengen. It was important to get volunteers or everywhere, and everywhere groups of volunteers came together and created what we called a welcome culture, meaning um, they, there were, they were helping in the shelters, um, providing food, um, sorting out all the piles of clothes that were collected and brought through the shelters. Um, they were prepared bicycles for the young people. Um, they collected toys. So it, it was a whole movement, a whole social movement of helping uh, these refugees in the shelters. There are challenges and needs left. How to maintain these positive habits in, the problem, in the, our population, which is not easy. Uh, while at the most questionable uh, last months, we had an agreement signed with Turkey to take refugees back um, and provide aid for them in Turkey, which is very much questioned. Here, my colleague Uta Wani can immediately join and in and give some critical reflections of what, how we see that now, how we see the present stage of development. Thank you.